welcome to the newest ATV show, where we'll see the most exciting and unusual all-terrain vehicles and other kinds of transport. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi there, as usually it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching the view machines and I am so glad to see you here at the newest ATV show, which is called Let's Go 2023. Actually, this show turned out to be so popular, cause only here we can see the newest all-terrain vehicles of all possible types and kinds. Probably we won't be able to show you all the huge exhibition, but we'll try to find the most exciting vehicles, so it's going to be interesting. Get comfortable, my friends, and let's start our video. The largest vehicles at the show that attract our attention are these huge ATV and airboat, which are called the Norse. Let's start with them. The first one, ATV the Norse. It's a really huge machine, almost 6 meters length, 2.5 meters width, and almost 3 meters height. It's equipped with Toyota engine 1JZ, working together with automatic transmission. Besides, there is a transfer case from Toyota Land Cruiser, and axles from a military truck. Diameter of the wheels is 1600 mm and their width is 650 mm. There is a suspension system of all the wheels. Let's look inside. Inside the machine we see a comfortable cabin that can fit up to 11 passengers and rear part of the cabin can be quickly transformed into huge sleeping berths. Well, this HV is really impressive. It's like a fortress on the wheels, isn't it? And next to it we see another machine under the same name, the Norse. This time it's an airboat. By the way, you might have seen this machine on our channel. We made a review of it. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it. I'll put the link in the comments. Now let me remind you the main specs of this beautiful boat. It's able to go on different surfaces, on water, snow, ice and swamp. It's equipped with Infinity engine, 4.5 liters capacity, 320 HP. The maximum speed of this boat is 120 km per hour. Let's look inside. The spacious interior has quite a good quality of trim. It can fit up to 8 people, and the total carrying capacity is 1.5 ton. There is a heater, air conditioning and sleeping berths in the cabin. And if you want to see what this machine can do in practice, check our review of this boat. These ATVs used to be known as famous Sherp, but now they are produced under name Arhant. Here we see two newest models. This one still has old name Sherp N. It's equipped with diesel 3 cylinders engine Dusan 2.4 liters capacity, working together with a mechanical gearbox. The wheels are absolutely new. Now their diameter is 1800 mm and their width is 600 mm. The interior also has new design. It has become more spacious. Now it can fit up to 11 people. And there are two full-size sleeping berths. On board the machine we have all the conveniences for long expeditions. There is a heater, air conditioner, shower and so on. And this is the newest model of the company. This time it has new name – Arhant. They implemented in this model all their experience in this sphere, but the machine is rather affordable. The type of the body can be easily modified according to the customer requirements. You can choose a cargo body or pickup or comfortable cabin for passengers. The engine is also an option. You can choose a gas or a diesel. The driver's seat is in the middle of the body. The handlebar is like on a motorbike, but it's still a skid steering machine. I hope we will be able to make a review of it. One of the most interesting machines of this exhibition is an electric off-roader, which is called Cyberduck. I don't know why it has such a name, probably because its front end resembles slightly a duck. The body is made of aluminum, all-wheel drive, two electric motors, 160 kWh, 
The range is about 100 km. Pneumatic suspension, round clearance for 150 mm and numerous other features. The interior now is in the demo version and it will be modified later. I hope soon we will be able to get this machine for review. This awesome ITV is called Big Bo. It has an awesome design and multiple interesting engineering solutions. It's a skid steering machine with numerous peculiar details. For example, look how the front door is opened here. It's easy to manipulate with it and get in into the ATV. The engine is Hyundai 1.6 liters capacity 120 HP. It works together with the automatic transmission. The interior is awesome and neat. And it's comfortable with comfy seats and full-size sleeping berths. These machines are worth of our attention, because in fact it's the most affordable vehicles on the market. For example, this snowmobile, which is called Azimut Limited, is one of the cheapest sleds. It has two cylinders 28 HP engine, the simplest design, some kind of suspension, and the most interesting, the price is about two and a half thousand dollars. This motor sled is also one of the cheapest variants. It's a simple Taiwan machine, but it has electric stutter, handle heaters, powerful headlamps, and other features. And one more peculiar machine, the cheapest ATV. Its price is about 2000. It has 20 HP engine, rear chain drive, simple suspension, and some other options. Cheap and simple. Let's move on. Some more quite interesting machines. Here we see new ATV and so-called snow scooter. The ATV is a classic machine based on articulated frame. There is a hydraulic steering, two-cylinders engine, 30 HP, the seat with the suspension, CVT transmission and the gearbox. The rear section of the frame can be used both for passengers and cargoes. The machine is rather affordable. It's priced about $9,000. This ATV looks like a huge quad. These bright machines attract a lot of attention at the exhibition. By the way, the other day we made a review of these machines where they proved to be the fastest vehicles in this class. Be sure to check it if you haven't. The whole design of these machines was taken from a regular quad, but these vehicles are much bigger. Besides, there is a comfy cabin with a sleeping berth. The engine is Toyota 1.5 liters capacity, automatic transmission, all diff locks, power steering, and many more other features. By the way, at the exhibition there are many electric vehicles. For example, now we see full electric ATV, which is called Han. It's a huge ATV with an articulated frame. And again, we already made a review of this machine on the channel. Please check it if you haven't. How do you like this one? This ATV looks like it took part in Mad Max movies. In fact, it's a show vehicle made on base of Shatun ATV. There are so many dark and gloomy details, so it's very exciting just to examine this machine closely. It's so brutal, rusty, aggressive and dark. Numerous chains, skulls and machine gun. A good vehicle for post-apocalypse survival. Probably not very practical, but it looks insane. Now you can see how this ATV looks in the original. It's the newest model which is called Shatun Prime. The most interesting feature here is an articulated frame with a hydraulic steering. The transmission doesn't have any chains, so it should be reliable. Besides, we see here new exterior and interior. If you want to see more of these machines, check our reviews on the channel. I'll put the links in the video. Next to it we see a tiny ATV with a proper name for it, Little. The matter is, this machine is also electric. Its size is almost like a regular quad, but in fact it's a real ATV based on articulated frame. Its gas analog is extremely capable on off-roading. I wonder if electric one can show us the same performance. One more interesting electric ATV, which is called Phoenix. It's a silent and powerful machine that would be perfect for hunting, for example, because it doesn't make both any noise and exhaust. 
There are two electric motors, 50 kW power each. According to the customer requirements, a generator can be installed here. By the way, next to it we see a gas analog of this ATV. It's a skid steering vehicle equipped with 98 HP gas engine and automatic transmission. Well, let's go to demo, friends. Thanks for visiting this exhibition with us. Please post your comments what you think of these machines. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.